because you know it's all about the boom. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, Layeth the Squad Down here on the Mod Squad Network. I am your host, Kevin. Joining me as always is Steve. What's going on, everybody? You almost said your other show. I did. You I, did. I, I did. I heard it. I heard it in your voice. You're almost like, welcome back to the back of the retro review. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, please check us out on Back to the Retro Review, where me and Kevin, also known as the Bearded Geek over there, talk with Mikey the Freak about movies from the 80s and 90s. Cheap pop. How are we like doing, it. Kevin? I like it. Doing good, doing good. We had a really good week of wrestling. Had a return. Uh, you may have uh, realized from the intro. But, Boom, uh... <laughs> baby. Holy but, uh, geez, Louise. Oh, my God. We'll get there. We'll get there. But we'll first get we're there. Gonna, but first, we're going to start out with some WWE and and Raw. Even WWE though I, and, and Raw. We're going to be talking about WWE Raw and SmackDown. Yes. Oh, I think I got to sneeze. Ooh, Salute. Hold on one second. Carry the show for a second. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a quick impersonation. I'm going to give you my impersonation of The Rock. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. If you smell... Are we good? We're good. We're good. Yay! We're good. Killing we're good. It was it was a false alarm. One of those. I think I have to sneeze, but can't sneeze. I should have just automatically say "bless you" because whenever you have to sneeze and someone says "bless you" before you even sneeze, you're like, "Now I don't have to." Yep. Thanks. That, that, you canceled the sneeze. You ruined it. All right. Anyway, raw, <laughs> raw, raw. Uh, oh, baby, Kevin? I like it raw. Well, Kevin Owens like came out at the top of the <laughs> Kevin Owens came out at the top of the show and began to talk about how he will face Roman Reigns at the Rumble, but he was interrupted by JBL and and this uh and Corbin the new the new Baron modern Corbin, day yeah, and, wrestling god uh, Baron, Baron Corbin. Corbin and of course or this is, led to a match or as I like to call him Corbin Dallas Corbin no, yeah. This led to a match. Uh, Kevin Owens wins, of course, uh, but he was attacked by the bloodline after the match. But Kevin Owens ended up grabbing a chair, and he was the last man standing in the ring. So Kevin Owens wins that battle. KO wins. KO! Next, we have Bailey versus Mia Yim. Uh, it was, uh, Didn't get that one on TV. Didn't get that one on Hulu. There, there's a reason for it. Did there's not get reason. Bailey versus Mia Yim. Yeah, there was a reason for it. It was it was it was it was, it was nothing. Bailey won. Bailey wins. Bailey wins. Yeah. Bailey could be going up against somebody else. They should have they should have Kim Chi or whatever whatever they're calling her now, the crazy rabbit or whatever yeah. it is. Uh, uh, they should they should have her feuding with Rhea Ripley. Hello. I, I believe so too. But uh, Alexa Bliss came out, gave a promo atop the announce table, talking about how she is the face of evil. A creepy video played and led to an appearance from Uncle Howdy at the top of the ramp. And then they went to commercial break. So it was. So Uncle Howdy was there? Or Uncle was Howdy it like a. Nope. Or was. Uncle, no. Okay. Uncle Howdy that's, was there. That's, that's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, anyone, if anyone should be like with Bray Wyatt that is creepy and evil and sinister, her name is Asuka. I agree. I agree. Oscar would be great. Oscar would be but great. Continuing. Yes, we have Candice LeRae versus Rhea Ripley. Uh, this was a decent match, uh, but of course, Rhea, Rhea wins. I mean, R Rhea should never lose. Of course, Rhea wins. Rhea should never lose. I mean, especially against an opponent the size of Candice. Size of LeRae. Candace. Sure, yeah. of course. But Candace, have, you have to. But that's the thing is, like, Candace is amazing in the ring, and once again, her and her husband, I don't think they're really truly being used to their greatest potential. Candace is amazing in the ring, but then again, so is Rhea. 
Uh, Solo Sequoia versus Dolph. Uh, Solo wins, of course. Ziggler Simone, hit a couple. Simone, yeah, Ziggler, Simone Spike, I'm sure. Yeah, so Ziggler hits a couple big moves, but it's Solo. He's being positioned as like the new um Umaga. Yeah, he's the enforcer. He's the enforcer of the bloodline. Then we have tag team turmoil. Uh, this is our main event. Yes. Uh, let's see. Following an episode of Miz TV with the Judgment Day, we saw Finn Balor and Damian Priest take on Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows in the first bout of the tag team turmoil main event. Dom helped his team steal the win by tripping Anderson so Balor could roll him up. Mm -hmm. The next duo to enter the match were Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. Now, I will say there there was a segment during the match uh, that that you didn't talk about. Uh, Bobby Lashley end up did did coming back. Um, they cut a promo with him. Not a promo. They they have someone interviewing him in the back, uh, in which they have MVP approach, uh, mm. and they are very much that teasing the return of the Hurt business. Uh, La the MVP says to Lashley, I think we need to get back on the same page. Uh, he says, I made Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin realize the errors of their ways, and they're going to be in the tag team tournament tonight. Mm -hmm. Basically meaning like we may actually get the return of the Hurt Business, which I would love because I think that the Hurt Business was one of the greatest factions, stables, call it what you will, that they've had for a long time for a heel group in the WWE. I do too, but... At this point, uh, Lashley was like, P, we're cool, but I'm not going to forget what you've done to us, what you've done to me. Uh, Leave me now. Yeah. And, but, but, but like, I ain't punching you in the face. Right. So, uh, Cedric and Shelton actually put up a decent fight, but they were eventually eliminated. Chad Gable and Otis were next. Shush! <laughs> Uh, do you think do you think Shush is their answer to AEW's librarians? Yes. Yeah, sure. Sure. It's like two years late. It's okay. Keep going. As fun as their portion of the match was, they also ended up being put down by the judgment day. Uh, the Irishman rolled out of the ring and was looked at by the ringside doctor. The Irishman. The, I, the Irishman. Yeah. Finn Balor. He had, he ended up hurting his ribs so of course he ended up he ended up hurting his ribs so dominic mysterio has to I mean, take his place or they forfeit their position yep and you know and i love how priest is like hey don't be soft <laughs> he's like they know he's the weak link but they're it, they kind of mask. well he's it, prison so. he's prison dom now now he's prison dom so now he's got that toughness to him the worst thing about prison for me was the Dementors. Right. He then, just reminds me of Michael Scott from The Office, where he finds exactly out the guy was is. in jail. That's exactly what it was. Instead of it's, wearing it, it, uh, the bandana on his head, he wore it as a uh, mask. It's silly. It's yeah. silly. Please continue, though. Nope. Then so the Dominic, street... Dominic takes Finn's place. Yep. And then the match continues uh, with the Street Profits. Uh Judgment Day ends up winning that too. So yeah, and Street Judgment Profits Day for the win. Yeah, Street Profits were the last entrance. Yep, and that was the end of the match. It kind of ended there. Yep. Um, I, then, I, honestly, I don't think Raw was that strong of a show. If I I'm had, gonna do, I'm I'm going to tell you right now, top contender, top contender for the week is going to be AEW again. Yeah. Honestly, and for my match of the match of. Uh, the night on this show, I'm going to go with uh, Solo and Dolph. Okay, okay. I'll go I'll go. Uh, Judgment Day versus uh, Street Profits. The okay. final, the, fi the final of, you can just go the whole tag team turmoil, but if I'm going to pick a, say, like, like just one group in particular, Judgment Day, Street Profits. Uh, Street Profits have really been bringing it. They're always really good. Montez Ford. Uh, really just active in the ring. Um, I just completely forgot the name of the other person in the Street Profits. Uh, D'Angelo Hawkins uh, yeah. is is a big guy that could definitely move around. Uh, so it's a lot fun just to see them do what they do in the ring. So what did we get on SmackDown? On SmackDown, we have Braun Strowman versus Gunther. Zaling For the Intercontinental Championship match. And 
I really thought that they were going to give it to Strowman, but Gunther wins. Thank God. Yes. Gunther wins. Thank God. And it, it was a, it was one of those hard hitting matches, but it, it, you know, just uh, it, you're not going to see a lot of flips in this match. No, <laughs> no. It, it was a good. It was a decent. They're match. like they're like uh, they're like FTR. All fists, no flips. Mm -hmm. I will say this though: they they did have a moment there where uh, Braun Strowman teamed up with the Packers to create custom boots that he was wearing, and they'll be auctioned off to uh, benefit uh, something. Uh, yeah, something. Ch children. Yes. Disease. Disease. Uh, <laughs> illness. Afflictions. Something like that. Yeah. Something good. Then we have Karrion Cross puts Rey Mysterio to sleep. Basically. Fall and pray. Yeah. Fall oh. and pray. Rey Mysterio. Fall <laughs> and pray. I, I, I should have known stand, to just wait. Yeah. I cannot stand when people sing their end when when there there is music playing and then the people are mouthing what's being said yeah. she does this uh uh what's her nut it was like Liv morgan or alexa bliss did it for her entrance theme yeah. uh julia hart does it for the house of black there's more than just that but i absolutely hate when people like mouth the words like they're actually saying them like shut up it's your theme sorry keep going no, no, Ray, not Ray, Ray, Myster Ray Mysterio. Yeah, and Ray boy, Mysterio and attempted and to boy, discuss. And my boy, Karrion Cross. <laughs> he attempted to discuss his heartache uh, he experienced over the holidays with Dom. Instead, Karrion Cross and Scarlet interrupt. Yeah, uh, Karrion Cross and Scarlet interrupt, and they attack Ray Mysterio. Cross puts him to sleep. Yeah, he, man. Cross came out wearing. He looked almost like he was trying to cosplay because it looked like his tie was way too short way too it, 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 he looked stupid in what he was wearing i, I like him why. with hair i'm glad they let him grow his hair i do like him well, with I, hair. I, I, but... let me rephrase that i'm glad they didn't make him shave his head again because yes. as soon as he got let go the first time he grew all of his hair back he's got this great promo of, of and he has good hair he does have good hair. He's got this great promo that he put out after he got let go. And it was actually his entrance theme on the indies. Uh, but it's just like him walking around Vegas smoking a cigar. That like that's the whole the whole the whole promo video is like him walking around Vegas with a cigar. And it's just like it's amazing. Like Thank I you. love it. Like I, I'm a big carrying cross fan. I know you're not necessarily, but I, uh, I, not, I but not really. I, I don't I, think I, he has very much range, but that, I thought he was really good in Lucha Underground as the White Rabbit. Right. Next, we have Tegan Knox versus Zia Lee. Uh, uh, this is a bathroom break. Go grab you a snack. Knox is Zia Lee a face or a heel? Because she's a heel. Can't make, she's a heel. Because they can't make up their mind. She's full heel right now. But next, we have the Bray Wyatt promo. Yikes. Yeah, he came out saying that you know. He needed he needed that little push basically by Uncle Howdy to find out who he really is and sometimes you forget who you truly are and how many months has Bray Wyatt been back? Uh, uh, three too many. Yeah, it's three that way. at least through two or three months, and we have yet to get a match from him. Yeah, like there there has to be a reason why he has not gotten in the ring yet. Like I just I, I, I can't figure it out, but there's got to be a reasoning. So then we have uh, Liv Morgan versus Rachel Rodriguez. Rodriguez Ra Ra just basically destroyed her. Yeah. Is it Rachel or Raquel? Raquel. 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 Yeah. You know, it was Rachel in NXT. It was also Gonzalez, but now it's Raquel Gon Rodriguez. So can't shake it. I can't shake it. Okay. Can't stop, won't stop. Yep. Then we have a backstage moment with, uh... oh, shoot. What is her name? I have no idea. Ronda Rousey, Shotzi Blackheart. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville. Daddy! Try yeah, trying it's to convince. It's a backstage promo with Daddy. Yeah. Try talking to Adam Pierce, trying to convince she wants a rematch with uh, Charlotte, and she's like, I'm going to figure out a way to do it without entering the Rumble. 
Then we have the KO versus Sami Zayn match. Zayn trying to prove himself to the bloodline to bloodline because he's Roman no longer Reigns. in the, he's no longer in the locker room. Man, I yeah. hate this whole. Pre yeah, previously they the you know Paul Heyman said he's the only one there. There is no bloodline. There is no solo. But during at the end of the match, the of course the bloodline come out and attack Owens and Sammy's like, "What's going on?" You know, Owens wins via di disqualification. They beat I, the hell out of him. I really, I just, I, <laughs> I, I, no words, huh? No words for it. I no, there's no, there's no words because I hate what they're doing. Yeah, they're they're it. pushing Sammy out of the bloodline, and and in reality, I don't think that that if they're going to be pushing this angle, Sammy shouldn't be teaming with Owens to beat the Usos for the tag belts. Sammy should be the one to beat Roman for the belt. I agree, but I kind of see what's going on here as well. If the WW, I mean, this is a little behind the scenes business side. If the Vince, WWE Vince just came back, yeah, to if sell the WWE, the yeah, and they're trying to sell it to a Saudi group, the Saudi group that is it, a hard, hard rumor. It, hard rumor. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. But if this happens, I guarantee you, Sammy will leave the company. So. A handful of people will probably leave the company yeah. if the Saudis end up buying it. Sure, a hundred percent. I don't it. think. I think in the long run, I don't think. I don't think that'll happen. I think it'll be an American corporation. It'll probably end so. up being Fox Sports. Oh, very There's welcome. been a lot of talk of sports of Fox Sports doing it simply because of the position that they're in with SmackDown and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, but this is all hearsay and rumors right now. Uh, my match of the night on SmackDown was the Owen Sammy match it was, a, it was a really good match until the beat down at the end so that is it for wwe steve what do we have man. for some aew that you just so happen to be in attendance for? oh man i can tell you right now dynamite baby woo they need to film rampage when you have a trios champion now here's the mm -hmm. here's the great thing is now that i've seen it live i know that it's not a six man i know it's not a three man it is a trios it is a the trios. trios it is a trios match for the trios championship. Um, Dynamite opened up hot. John Moxley versus Hangman Adam Page um, with a big back and forth. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very tired of Hangman. Um, I like. I, I don't just, like cowboy shit. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of cowboy shit anymore. Uh, so much to the point that while the match is happening, I looked at my brother and went. Hey, what happens when uh, Adam Page goes to the bar? Yeah, when Adam Page goes to the bathroom, and he looked at me real quick, and he was like, "Oh, cowboy shit!" And I was like, "Yep, <laughs> he takes a cowboy shit." Um, <laughs> it it at Page ends up winning it. Um, they're doing a full concussion angle with mm -hmm. Moxley from the looks of it. Uh, mm -hmm. With the way that he was selling on the way to the ring, I want to say it was Wheeler Yuta that came on running out. Uh, to aid him, um, and then oh my God, as we teased at the beginning, there. So there have been a handful of times in my life where I have been at a live wrestling event where something has happened that has caused me to get to my feet. And I will say right now, I have been to the major four of WWE pay per views. I have been to Royal Rumble. I have been to SummerSlam. I have been to Survivor Series. I have been to WrestleMania. Only one of these pay per views got me to stand up on my feet, and that was SummerSlam last year at the return of Brock Lesnar. Now, the okay. only other time that I can think of when I got up out of my seat in pure excitement, enjoyment, shock was this Wednesday night at the L.A. Forum when all of a sudden, you know, you it's know all about the boom. the boom. Oh, my God, Adam Cole. I sprung out of my seat as fast as I could, primarily because <laughs> everybody else was. But I just I was just in pure shock your enjoyment bro you could just goosebumps you can't <laughs> goosebumps even thinking about it oh my god to be there with everybody when he hits that adam, adam Cole, Cole, baby! Baby! love oh, it love it bro. boom all of it it was spectacular to have adam cole back and he's like good news bad news 
and everyone's booing and I look at I look at my brother because because I'm a cynic asshole and I watch all of this stuff all the time and I was like mm-hmm. good news he's bagged he's back bad news for whoever what cha- who's ever what champion you know I was yeah. like bad news for the champion of whatever belt he is going after and that's and that's what it was it was good news bad news good news he's been excited to get back this is the struggle bad news for everybody in the AEW locker room because he is cleared to wrestle. He I is like cleared it. to go. Adam Cole is back. Bay Bay. I oh like my it. God. I I just can't get enough of of I just I just can't. Um he 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 left after doing his promo <clears throat> and we got Lee Moriarty for a big bill going up against <laughs> the team of Jungle Hook. Jungle. As they are <laughs> jung, Jungle Boy and Hook. I'm a big Hook fan. Not so much on Jungle Boy. And don't get me wrong, I like Jack Perry. Good kid. Been wrestling since he was like 13, 14 years old. I've probably mentioned mm-hmm. it before. Met his dad at an indie show. I refer- I refereed on a show where he was just starting like third or fourth match in. Super nice kid. I, I just... I'm tired of Jungle Boy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, No, I get it. I get it. But yeah. I love Hook. But I love Hook. And uh, I, I really could care less about the firm. I'm not a big fan of Big Bill. I kind of checked out on this match, to be honest, even though I saw it live. Uh, and Jungle Hook won. Okay. Um, Kanosuke, T- T- Kanosuke Takeshita uh, went up against Brian Danielson in the next match uh, in a high-hitting <clears throat> Uh, a high hitting match. Uh, but with Amazing that, we did, have, match. we did have MJF come out cutting a promo uh, where he calls uh, to Konosuke Takeshita, take a shit up. <laughs> that was not I think your name is take a shit up. <laughs> and I think it's super funny because some people don't get MJF's gimmick. Someone on Twitter was like, don't you think it's a bit absurd and a bit and a bit uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um hypocritical when you're making fun of someone of their ethnicity when you've had a struggle living as a Jewish grown man. And I'm just like, that's the gimmick. Exactly. That's the point. He's an asshole. He's an asshole to everybody. To the core. He's an asshole to the, to the core. core. The, the, with him, it's it's not a lifestyle, it, it's not a gimmick. It's a lifestyle. They, I switched those. Like, I don't think MJF ever turns it off. I think maybe in the locker room when he's around, like, just the boys, maybe he turns it off. But you can look at videos of MJF anywhere for the last six years. I, I've seen shoot videos where, where it's just he's still the asshole. Yeah. yeah. I dude, there's there's this kid I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want people going to look him up because I think he's a horrible human, uh, and and people just blow a lot of smoke up of his ass with what he does, mm-hmm. um, but I <laughs> I just complete oh I saw him do an interview with MJF and MJF is like all right Tubby what do you want this guy is rather large he's like all right yeah. Tubby you you have me. In a parking lot. You wanted me to sit in a hot tub. I'm not going to sit in a hot tub with you. Jesus, what are you thinking? And he's just, <laughs> he's like, what question do you have for me? And the guy kind of mutters his aunt, his question. He's like, I am done with this interview. And just walks away. I love it. M- MJF is 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 never off. He is always on. And he cuts this amazing promo. Uh, Daniel uh, Danielson ends up coming out. MJF ends up hightailing it. Uh, they have a spectacular. <laughs> that was match. not that was not a jog up the road. No, that was a that was, that a, was a full sprint. sprint. It was he funny. Booked it as fast as could be. I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh Danielson won, of course, because Danielson has to win every match leading up to the Iron Man match yeah. uh with MJF, which is bonkers. Because everyone is going to go into that match being like, oh, there's no way that Danielson is going to win or, or, or he's going to lose an Iron Man match. Spoiler alert, Danielson is going to lose an Iron Man match to yeah. MJF. I agree. Um, we get uh, Storm and Soraya versus uh, Baker and Hater. I'm not going to lie. I took this as my bathroom break slash um, food, food break. I went and got myself... Oh. Uh, you ain't got drink. food during a hater? A drink. Uh, a drink ski. They wanted $16 for a little oh circular 
pan pizza. So I was like, I'll pay $7 for watered down lemonade. Um, <laughs> I really just ate the ice. I was thirsty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw haters entrance. Uh, I'm not a big, uh, I'm just, I, I like Baker. I like hater. Not a big fan. of. I was never a fan of Tony storm and I could really give two, uh, Takeshita's, uh, about, uh, about Soraya being back. <laughs> so, you. okay. Um, we get Jamie Hader making the pin on that. Uh, it was great. I love, I love Jamie Hader. I, I, I like Britt Baker. I think she's talented in the ring. Hader has um, really grown on me. I'm not gonna lie. Hader's amazing. She is also absolutely gorgeous in person. All of the, I'm not gonna lie, they all are. I, I've yeah. been to conventions where they are. Um, we get uh, a promo from the JAS. Um, I, I. Or was it the Backstreet Boys? Was it JAS or the Backstreet they, Boys? They, 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 they or Chippendale. Off. They had tearaway black pants to reveal underneath black pants. Yeah. <laughs> which was fucking stupid, if you ask me. Um, I don't gimmick. I I don't remember necessarily what the promo was about. I know that Ricky Starks and Action and Dreddy came out and Ricky gave a very, very lackluster promo. Very lackluster. Yeah. The the entirety of the promo of of uh Ricky Starks was me just looking at my brother going mm, 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 yeah mm, mm. all the time he'd be saying Ricky would say saying and I would just look at my brother and go mm. <laughs> for those listening um, on the audio portion he's doing the pose that Ricky Starks does he's doing yeah. the Ricky Starks the bump 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 uh. We then had our main event, and this is why I say that they should have filmed Rampage before they filmed Dynamite, because the main event of Dynamite was the Death Triangle going up against the Elite in a ladder match for the Trios Championship, and this match did not disappoint. This is by Good far match. match of the night, greatest ladder match that I have seen in person, as much as... I dislike the elite as much as I wanted death triangle to win still a spectacular match. Kenny Omega ends up getting it. Uh, after everything went off the air, Kenny gets on the mic. I gives full credit to death triangle. He goes, Hey guys, we're not on the air anymore. I'm happy to say this. Give it up for death triangle. They just gave a great match. <clears throat> and then he gave us, uh, you know, his classic. I'm not able to say it on TV yet, so I'll say it to you here now. I bid you adieu. <laughs> uh, Kenny Omega gave his great sign off. Um, and boy, I was exhausted. I bet. Now, before Dynamite, they filmed an entire episode of Dark Elevation. Mm -hmm. After Dynamite was over, they filmed another match for Dark Elevation. And then they filmed Rampage, in which whew, we had three matches on mm -hmm. Rampage. And the opening match... Uh, the audience was exhausted. I don't know if you could necessarily hear it on TV, uh, but the, the, the crowd was, was quite dead and quiet, uh, for the opening match of rock hard juice Robinson going for the TNT championship against Darby Allen. Uh, unfortunately Darby Allen wins. Everybody <laughs> around me is cheering Darby. I was booing him as loud as as could be people were looking at me like this guy what are you booing him for and i'm like mm, he's a piece of shit um and so we get that not gonna lie it was a good match it was a great match i'm a big juice robinson fan i like rock hard juice robinson he's just uh, came over from new japan mm -hmm. uh, his new japan contract is done he is signed i believe an aew contract hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of juice robinson I, I didn't know this kid personally, but I I knew this kid when he was on the Indies. I refereed a tag match for him uh, before he did a year or two before he went to Japan and got big in New Japan. So very cool. Uh, we have oh so obviously uh, for Dynamite match of the night uh, is going to be the trios championship. Okay, for me, uh, match of the night on. Dynamite. You're gonna pick. T you're gonna pick Takeshita versus Danielson. Yeah, Takeshita yeah. Danielson. That which. I mean, honestly, that's one A, one B. I mean, they're the great matches, both of them. There, yeah. Um, we then get a great tag team uh, match. 
of the House of Black going up against the team of Ortiz and Eddie Kingston. Um, great match. Great back and forth. Solid, solid match. For me, this is match of the night. Main event was spectacular, but me, match of the night, House of Black versus Ortiz and Kingston. Uh, great back and forth. House of Black, of course, coming up on top uh, as they are completely dominating. Uh, we then got our main event of Tay Conte, uh, Tay, Tay Conte and Anna Jay going up against Ruby Soho and Willow Nightingale in a all-out street fight uh, in which Ruby Soho ends up getting a complete crimson mask. Uh, Ruby Soho, uh, what I think is funny is Anna Jay and Tay Conte came out basically dressed like Hooters waitresses, <laughs> whereas okay. Ruby Soho and Willow Nightingale came out dressed as the Dudleys. Okay. Um, great, great back and forth. Uh, Ruby getting a complete uh, crimson mask uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, tax on the floor. Uh, Ruby Ooh. putting Tay into the tax. Uh, one, two, three. Ruby Soho, Willow Nightingale get the uh, the win. So it was a pretty brutal match. It was a pretty brutal match. But for me, uh, on Rampage, House of Black, Ortiz Kingston, match of the night. Match of the night. I did not watch Rampage, so I, I can't really tell. Comment what? on that. That's okay. Yeah, comment on that. So what was your match of the week? A trios championship. Uh, my match of the week, Danielson versus uh, Takeshita. Takeshita. We'll get yeah. you. We'll get you to say it properly one, at, at some point. Takeshita. 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 I look. I'm horrible with names. So I know. I know with with, with with Solo Sequoia. So that's right. He's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's a single. Right. He's a singular tree. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. All right, guys. That, I believe that does it for this week in wrestling. In this week of Blayeth the Squad Down, uh, make sure you check out the Mod Squad Network. Uh, we have a horror show. We have a live every Saturday night. Uh, check out the Mod Squad Network sister channel. Back to the Retro Review, which we plugged at the beginning of the episode, Steve. Where can people find you on your podcast? Uh, you can find me on the last podcast you want where I talk about uh, movies, entertainment, uh, video games, TV shows. Uh, we have old back episodes uh, in which I did a classic interview style uh, with many celebrities, friends, family, some you know, some you don't, uh, where we just talk purely about movies and movies they love, movies they dislike. Uh, then we changed the format of the show about a year ago. Uh, we're going to be going through another format change uh, sometime soon, so you can be expecting something new with that. Uh, other than that, tip the veal, try the staff. Thank you all for listening. Better luck next time. Yep. Highly recommend it. Go check out the last podcast you'd want. All right, guys, that does it for this episode of Lay at the Squad Down. So for Steve, I am Kevin saying keep on wrestling, everybody. <laughs>